What's up, YouTube? XA Group Chat 23 here. I'm back with another video. Alright, guys, I just got done watching uh, Money in the Bank pay per view. I'm just going to give you guys my review on the matches and the whole uh, pay per view in general. So, in the first match, we had the SmackDown Tag Team Champion kickoff match. It was the Bludgeon Brothers versus Luke Owls and Carl Anderson. Um, just to give you guys my. Uh, Thoughts on this match is that, to be honest, I really didn't care much about either of these guys because, like I say, um, we all know the uh, WWE is trying to make um, the, the Bludgeon Brothers look like this unstoppable tag team. In my mind, they really not, but it's a WWE's plan. But um, just in the match, uh, going into the match, um, um, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson were about to hit their finisher on um, uh, Luke. <laughs> uh, I forgot the damn dude's name. Luke Hopper, um, was in the air going, came in, he saved, and basically they hit their finish and they both retained the tag team belt. Uh, we move on to the uh, first match of the pay per view, and it was uh, Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass, Little Guy versus Big Guy. Um, like I said, man, um, I'm not really too much big on the match. I felt like the match was. I don't know. I just felt like the match was kind of boring. This just is me. Um, for me, I felt like Daniel Bryan should be used more better. He should be fighting for the WWE Champion, but I guess they have different plans for him. So, but um, in the match, um, Daniel Bryan hit the submission move on uh, Big Cass, and basically Big Cass tapped out. As we all know now that uh, Daniel Bryan is two and zero against uh, Big Cass. All right, so we move on to the third match. Of the, of the pay-per-view, and it's Bobby Lashley versus Sami Zayn. Um, just my thoughts on the match. Um, Sami Zayn was basically doing a lot of uh, running outside the ring, you know what I mean, trying to play the mind games with um, Bobby Lashley. And basically, uh, Bobby Lashley gets in the ring, then Sami Zayn starts to beat him up. And basically, uh, uh, Bobby Lashley showed his strength. You know, he had uh, he did three um, suplexes to... Uh, Sami Zayn, and basically uh, he finished off Sami Zayn. More or less, it was like a, a squash match, you know what I mean, just to uh, make uh, Bobby Lashley this uh, unstoppable force, which I still think Bobby Lashley, to me, should be uh, he should be fighting for the uh, for the uh, WWE Universal Champion. But like I said, I don't know what the hell WWE is doing with him. All right, so we move on to the, uh, the next uh, match. As you guys can see, it was... Um, Seth Rollins versus um, Eli Samson for the uh, Intercontinental Champion. Um, just give you guys my quick thoughts on this fight, this match. It was pretty good, you know. Uh, anytime uh, Seth Rollins in the match, his matches are always good to watch. Um, the match was back and forth, you know, and uh, Seth Rollins defeated uh, Eli Samson by a roll up. You know what I mean? You know he had to do what he had to do to remain champion. You know what I say, but like I say, oh yeah, man, it was a pretty good match. Um, so we're gonna move on to the next one, and we had the first uh, women's uh, Money in the Bank of the pay per view, and it was uh, Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair versus Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch, Emma Moon, Natalia, Naomi, and Lana. Now, um, just the, about this match, uh, basically, uh, I wanted to see a fresh face win this this match. I thought um, Lana was gonna win it. You know, you know, it could be unexpected, but once again, WWE gave the title to uh, gave the Money in the Bank to Alexa Bliss, and basically she's gonna go on to cash on later on when I get close to that match. But we move on to the next one, and we had Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. Um, basically. Be honest though, I didn't really care about this match at all. I mean, it's Roman, it's Roman Reigns. I mean, it's, it was just a boring ass match. I mean, I don't know why WWE keep pushing Jinder Mahal. You know what I mean? So, but like I say, uh, in the match, you know, there was a lot of interference by uh, uh, Jinder Mahal's um, 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 partner. I forgot his damn name. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he was interfering. A lot in the match until uh, Roman Reigns super punch him and he flipped over the chair. Then when he got back up. Roman Reigns spared him, got back in the ring. Uh, General Hall was trying to hit the clothesline. 
Roman Reigns, uh, block, uh, dodge it, hit the spear, one, two, three, and it was over. That's basically, uh, the match. Um, it was really wasn't nothing really important, really nothing that stand out in that match, you know, just trying to get you my point. Um, the next match we had was, uh, for the SmackDown Women's Championship, we had Carmella versus Asuka. Um, this match was, I mean, it was pretty all right. Um, no, I'm starting to, I'm really doing starting to like uh, um, Carmella as champion. Uh, the reason why is because it's a fresh face for the women's champion, you know what I mean? And um, I'm glad that uh, she actually defeated uh, Asuka because basically I really don't see nothing so great about Asuka at all. But um, as the match was getting ready to end, uh, we had a special uh, uh, interference, none other than the great... James L was where he basically was interfering and basically he uh, Carmella had a finisher and she beated Oscar to retain the women's champion. Now that was uh that was uh that was a shocker because to me I thought um um Ells Ellsworth was done with the the league. I thought he was getting get ready to head to TNA, but I guess the WWE pulled the fast one and brought him back. All right, so we move on to the Next uh, match of the night, and it was a WWE Championship last standing match, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Okay, going into this match, um, be honest, I was actually getting tired of Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles. Uh, few, I felt like they weren't going anywhere, but um, be honest though, this match was pretty damn well. It was a lot better than the WrestleMania match. You know, a lot of... Uh, Broken tables, a lot of broken um, announcement tables. It was a pretty good match. Um, um, AJ Styles came back with the win. Um, I'm glad that he's still champion, you know what I mean? Um, I heard there's rumors that uh, they may continue to few. I don't know how long it's going to go, but like I said, it was a pretty good uh, uh, championship match. All right, so let me go to the next match. It was Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax for the, room, for the Raw's Women's Championship. Um, as you guys can see at the bottom of the slide I have there, um, eh, to be honest though, it was uh, Ronda Rousey's first uh, match, first one-on-one -on -one match, and um, I could say it wasn't really all that great. Um, I felt like Ronda Rousey's WrestleMania match was a lot more better. Um, like I say, Nia Jax basically had to carry the match, but um, we got a shock in. Um, interference in the match where basically uh, um, Alexa Bliss came in. She was getting ready. She started to, to hit both uh, Nia Jax and Ronda Rousey with the briefcase. Basically, she was just beating up on Ronda Rousey, you know, keep hitting her with the briefcase. Then she threw Ronda Rousey over the announcement table, gotten her back in the ring, beat up Nia Jax with the, more of the, uh, the briefcase. Basically, uh, she gave the briefcase to the uh, referee, and basically she cashed in, and she hit her finisher, and she pinned Nia Jax to become the five-time women's champion. Um, like I say, um, I didn't expect this to happen this pretty soon. Um, like I say, I don't understand why the WWE keep putting the belt on Electric Bliss. Uh, you know how Vince McMahon, he liked his little blonde girl, so that's my only thing. Thought that that know why he keeps giving Alexa Bliss title after title. Um, like I said, I would like to see a new face become champion. I thought Nia Jax uh, being champion was a was actually fresh, but I guess we're going back to start one with uh, Alexa Bliss as champion. All right, so we move on to the, uh, the the final match of the night. It was the men's money in the bank ladder match. It was Braun Strowman versus Finn Balor versus The Miz versus Rusev versus Kevin Owens versus Bobby Roode. Snow Joe and Kofi Kingston. Uh, just to give you guys my uh, thoughts on this match, it was the best night match of the night. Um, it was a lot of a uh, lot of tables. There was a lot of ladders thrown around me. A lot of ladders thrown around. A lot of high flying by Kofi Kingston. And uh, basically, um, my favorite part of the uh, the whole match was when uh, Kevin Owens was on top of the the ladder. Strowman climbed up to him, grabbed him, and threw him off the ladder, and Kevin Cohen's went right through the announcement table. That was crazy. Um, 
in the end, um, as you guys can see in the slide, um, Ron Stillman won his first ever of money in the bank. So basically, uh, the universal champion had to look out Brock Lesnar because you got the man uh, is now the uh, money in the bank. And I'm actually uh, happy that uh, Strowman finally uh, won because me, uh, my prediction, who I thought was going to win, I thought Rusev was going to win, you know, because Rusev Day is so popular. And I thought the WWE would go with that route. But to be honest, though, I thought Strowman deserved it more. I mean, because like I said, he's one of the best big guys in the WWE right now. So, yeah, we'll see what the WWE will do with Strowman since he's now money in the bank. I don't know how long he's going to hold on to it, but we'll probably see because, like I said, there's rumors that Rock Lesnar is supposed to drop the belt at SummerSlam. But there's also other rumors that uh, Roman Reigns is supposed to rematch Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. So there's so many things that's going to happen. But um, you guys tell me what you think of the pay-per-view. I'll give you my overall right now. I probably would have say I probably get a 6.5 out of 10. I mean, I felt like, like I said, I felt like some of the matches could have been a little more better. Um, like I said, the beginning of the matches, like the first three matches could have been a lot more better. But that's just me. So, yeah, this is just my review of WWE Money in the Bank. If you don't like my review... Just tell me in the comment section. No hate. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm just going to start going to bed. Got to get ready for work. You guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.